We left Nanji high and dry in the capable hands of the boatyard, patiently waiting our return. Malaysian interstate borders have been shut for weeks and with COVID restrictions briefly easing, we took this opportunity to move closer to the hospital while we could. January saw a second wave of COVID infections across Malaysia, prompting borders to be closed again. Shops are now shut and a new lockdown has begun. This time has been quite difficult for us as we're now expecting our first child overseas in a foreign country. But we still have each other. And as a family, this is just another obstacle that we have to overcome. We are thankful the hospital is close by and we have a fancy home on land to call our little bubble. One month disappears as we patiently await to become parents. Once the head goes down a little bit, then you'll feel a bit better. Okay. So we don't want to know the sex. <laughs> <laughs> Above average, but still fun, still okay. But as you can see, it's all baby now because it's yeah, very small. Since we've moved away from Angie and then up here in the apartment in Penang. Uh, things have got a bit worse with COVID, and so we've had to kind of hide away a lot more. And uh, we've just been spending a lot of time in our apartment, um, just living in our little bubble. As Benita's pretty heavily pregnant now, she is nine months. And we just, yeah, we're just hanging out here and editing and doing what we can in our little, little apartment. It's really weird living in the city and living in a condo. They're called condos. How fancy does that sound? But yeah, it's kind of nice. We've just got this beautiful view and just been practicing on the ukulele. We bought a ukulele for Christmas, so that's pretty much what our days are filled with, is editing, playing ukulele, and exercising. Not doing a lot of normal activities of like sailing, surfing, just general activities, like to do a lot of activities. So just through what I normally do is how I stay fit. But since because of lockdown and or last Christmas, Christmas 2019 was probably the turning point in Yoshi's life where he started to get a little bit rotund around the edges. And it was a bit hard to shake all through lockdown, through all of 2020, just because we weren't really sailing, we weren't travelling. 2020 was the first year I never surfed. Now that is saying something, because I love to surf, and I pretty much based my whole life around surfing. And last year was the first year that I couldn't surf. So that does say something about how my fitness levels have gone. And they definitely declined downhill. And I know when Benita was starting to get pregnant, had a few comments there by quite a few people just commenting on the pregnancy of both Josh and Benita. And I'll agree, I was getting a little bit bigger around the belly there, but we were pregnant. And now I've actually lost mine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing like sharing your life on the internet to keep you in shape. <laughs> yeah, you're a bunch of pricks. <laughs> but it's all good. It's a nice kick in the butt that I need, you know. And Benita's always been about health and fitness, and she always stays in good shape and always likes to do her workouts. And, uh, yeah, since we've been up here in Penang, and I haven't been working on the boat every day, it's been a really good thing for me to get back into fitness and doing workouts. And I figure if Benita, Benita's now nine months pregnant, I figure if this preggers chick can be jumping around and doing workouts, I can bloody well do it as well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm nine months pregnant. This is the bump. Look at the belly. Yes, yeah, um, so I'm actually 36 weeks. So I still have four weeks to go. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot bigger than what I am now. And, um, but yeah, still feeling really good. I can still, like I did a six kilometer run yesterday. <laughs> so I don't even I run six K. I still feel really good. I sound like I'm out of breath all the time, but. You do sound like you're out of breath. Yeah, it? but uh, it's going really good. You're doing really good. Feeling good. Having a normal pregnancy. Baby is normal, yeah. healthy. So, yeah, it's been awesome. It has. It's been really good. It is a little bit weird for us just living in an apartment, but it has been nice for these last, 
you know, last weeks of pregnancy to be away from the boat because I know if yeah. we were at the boat, I'd just be working on it. And so, yeah, yeah it's good just to relax, just have yeah. us. And yeah, it's been a bit of a holiday, really. Over Christmas and New Year's was more of a holiday break, yeah. a baby moon. Yeah, so we still have to do our prenatal classes. Still have to do prenatal classes. <laughs> we still have to pack our maternity bag. Oh yeah, got to get our grab bag. Um, so we we still have a bit to do. <laughs> yeah, we still got a bit to do. It's kind of like we we're definitely at the very end of this pregnancy, but it's yeah. more we're just excited that we're at the end. We haven't actually got anything ready for. <laughs> the like next we, have, phase. we have like um, the baby bed ready and like all of yeah. the baby stuff. We got a pram and a baby carrier and like lots of clothes. They're all washed and ready to go. Yeah, and sleeves and stuff. Yeah, a few things to sort out as well. Yeah. So. All right, enough talk. More Let's action. Things. Yeah. What And you know, pretty much as simple as that, you know. <laughs> oh man, that's hard work. It's a good feeling though. Indo 2021, getting surf fit, getting ready. Barrels are cooling. What's that, babe? That's right, barrels are cooling. Hear that? Yeah, the barrels. <laughs> nice bump. Bump delicious. Bump it up. Bump, bump the jam, bump it. It's a baby bump. Bump a booty. Just want to talk about the uh, sponsor of this video. So thank you to Native Deodorants. If you guys have been watching our channel for a while, you know that these guys are a good supporter of our channel. So thanks, Native. Personally, as us sailing around the world, when you're out at sea and you see plastic floating across the ocean, it's just, it's disgusting and it's despicable. And it's something that we can all make our small changes in our lives just by, by disposing plastic correctly and then minimizing the amount of plastic that you use. So companies that do have plastic free packaging I'm a big fan of so good work native instead of using plastic as the packaging native use paperboard and they're committed to sourcing from responsibly managed forests the native team are quite passionate about this plastic free packaging and it's been a couple of years in the making they're also a part of 1% for the planet so for all sales of these plastic free deodorants they donate 1% of the profits to non-for-profit environmental organizations the three cents of flavors we have here is cucumber and mint candy cane and lavender and rose. We've had these for the last few months. We haven't ran dry yet, so we don't have any fresh ones to show. So they're non-sticky and dry quickly. They're vegan and cruelty free. They're aluminium, paraben and sulfate free as well, so it's great for your skin. Three plastic free deodorants are 39 clams, but if you use this link and our code, you'll get them for 29 and that's 25% off. There's free shipping to the US and native deliver to these countries. All right, be sure to get on board. We may be in lockdown, but we can still smell good and help save the environment. You. Creepers <laughs> left the rise, was like crazy. Everybody's trying to steal my lady. Spiders in the mirror, things can be right. Getting close. <laughs> Back to the scene of a Friday night To a blessed collision still frozen time Spill drinkers keep it in the sound of her first time And why did you argue? We're dreaming of those eyes 
last part of my life And when we make love, babe The world don't make a sound The clock won't turn around Josh and I had a bit of a scare, well not a scare, but... It was a bit of panic stations. Yeah, last night I had a contraction that was like, it, it was just constant. It was constant for, well... It was a good 15 minutes of pain. Yeah, 15 to 20 minutes of just like constant contraction pain. And, um... We kind of panicked. We're like, well, we got to go to the hospital. It's like, the doctor said, if you feel pain... Go yeah, straight to the hospital. Yeah, but I didn't know if I was going into labour. I didn't know what it was because, you know, normally when people talk about contractions, they're a wave of pain that come and then go. And this was just constant. And so I didn't know if something was wrong Yeah. or, like, I didn't know what it was. So um, we just packed everything up and went to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it's still three weeks away from the, uh, from the actual delivery date. So we decided that uh, the next couple of days we'll pack our grab bag, like our bag, ready for the hospital. Yeah. Because all this happened last night so fast, we didn't really have a bag packed. So yeah. <laughs> quickly, like we were just like we were so unorganized, and it hit us like we need to get our shit together because this is. <laughs> and, and so, like, I grabbed a bag, and guess what? We packed. <laughs> I packed seven pairs of und of Benita's undies <laughs> and a t-shirt. One of my t-shirts. <laughs> that's pretty much and it. And a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> and your passport though, I took oh, your passport, yeah. so that was the most important thing. Yeah, so we were just, um, you know, it was a bit of a wake-up call for us to start getting our crap together <laughs> last night. So, um, yeah, we ended up going to the hospital, I got like hooked up to the monitor and stuff, and then that was the only thing that happened. So it was like just 15 to 20 minutes of, of one big contraction, and then um, nothing. nothing. So... Yes. <laughs> so, so we came home and we started watching prenatal videos and we woke up this morning watching postnatal videos and we're like, yeah. we just better get a bit more organised. Yeah, we... <laughs> you, normally you would go to the hospital and do a prenatal class like with, you know, in the hospital or with like a group of people. There's no... None of that is happening anymore because of COVID and also um, there's no mother's groups or anything like that either. So... You're kind of left to just your own devices to work it out online. And, and the hospital <laughs> does offer them, but they offer them online every three months. Yeah. And so for the next course available is after our due date. But we're That's watching videos yeah, today. So we, but we found, like, some good videos today, so we've been watching those. And, yeah. And, um, yeah, so... Getting yeah, ready. Yeah. <laughs> Bubs is nearly here. Yeah. It wasn't, like, it was painful, but it was just more the fact that I didn't know what was happening because it yeah. didn't seem right, so yeah. that was the biggest thing. And I only drove through one red light. I only did one. <laughs> I'll cut that out. <laughs> I'm here for my 40 week checkup. We made it. We are at the end of this marathon and it, we just need to wait for this baby to decide to come out. It's uh, showing strong traits in its parents already. It's stubborn. <laughs> yeah. Like this baby just does not want to come out and two stubborn parents are getting pretty, uh, pretty antsy. Antsy. <laughs> antsy and up antsy. It's sleeping in. So. Yeah, so we're definitely very ready. It's been dragging on a long time now. We've been sitting around waiting and waiting for weeks, which is, I guess, what happens. Yeah. Come on, Bubs. Come on, Bubs. Is it still it's down, down there? Yeah. Oh. It's just waiting for the pain. So <laughs> 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 Yeah. At the hospital, for me to, um, if I go into labour, I'm going to have to have a COVID test before they admit me into the hospital. And so because I'm at full term now, they've decided to do the COVID test today, which thank goodness, because I can't imagine going in labor, <laughs> having a little COVID test at the same time. So 
um, just get it done today and then it's done and then when I need to get rushed to the hospital or whatever, I can just go straight up to my ward and... Um, not wear a mask. Yeah, not wear a, hopefully not wear a mask during the birthing. So Annie Benita has to get a test. If she's negative, then I'm allowed to be with her. Uh, but if she's positive, then she will have to go in by herself and I need to be tested as well. But uh, if she's negative, she doesn't have to wear a mask and I'm allowed around at all times, but I have to have a mask on because I have to so be tested. Why don't you just test him and then if he's negative, <laughs> I'm with <good>. him. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the pregnancy chick through more grief. <laughs>